hi guys welcome back to another second mv series video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys textbook that i use in my second mb and that was of great help to me doing second mb do keep watching if you want to find out which textbook it is so textbook that helped me in second mb i'm going to divide this into five <laughs> There are three courses in second MB, but anatomy has three embedded in it. So there's anatomy, there's physiology, and there's biochemistry. But anatomy has gross anatomy, histology, and embryology. So that's like five in total. So I don't know which one I'm going to start from. Let's just start from somewhere. Let me start from the cute baby, the small baby in the house. Let me start from embryology this was the recommended textbook in my school for embryo embryology it is the sad love embryology normally usually we call textbook by their author's name sometimes sometimes you're like okay langman medical embryology nobody have that long time just look for the author sadler even when you go to the market to buy it they ask you what you want to buy the new books by their author so this is the one that i used medical embryology by Sadla. this book is was is amazing the honest truth is that in 50 years when you're doing ONG you may have to refer back to this book okay let me just tell you because this book is more like on the development and in ONG they may not go like in depth in depth because they're like ah these children should have already done all these things now so you may actually need to refer back to this book in your fifth year but well, this book was amazing i enjoyed reading this book <laughs> i enjoyed reading this book oh my lord jesus christ i enjoyed reading this book this book was really just and it's small so like it's readable if you're not a book person my dear focus on your class notes focus on your lecture materials go to textbook if you need referrals yeah um go to textbook if um your materials is not sufficient you feel like it's not enough for you to write exam like there's some lecturers there's some people when making their powerpoint presentation they just write things in short form like how am i supposed to know what this is some people write ga instead of writing gestational age like why don't you just write gestational age straight why are you writing ga like okay so this embryology book is amazing hey and it's colorful i love this book this book reminds me of my o and g book which is somewhere up there on my shelf so yeah this is embryology the next one i will talk about is histology yeah this was one of the recommended texts for histology i don't know if you guys can see it yeah it has yeah this was one of the recommended tests for histology um i had i had another one but this book the one i actually bought was um this is wita's wita's functional histology the one i actually bought was in the Bising, um histology but i lent that one to somebody who was supposed to write the exam and is yet to give me back but i also read this one though i didn't buy this book someone gave it to me not this particular one i returned it back um but yeah this book will help you in your slides yeah all these histology slides will help you identify it so that when you see it next time in your exam you will know that this is what it is like it's going to help you in your histology slides yeah even in the thing also helps in histology slides these are like he has an atlas yeah it's filled with atlas every single way every single place in this book is just filled with atlas like there's always a slide so this book was amazing in the thing also was amazing i'll look for the picture of in the thing and leave it up here because my book has not been returned to me, so I'm going to look for the picture and leave it up here. So this is histology. The Wheatas Functional Histology. This book helps. Even during when we had, um, when we used to have histology practicals, when we're still in second year, second semester, third year, 
this book really helped like it really helped for referrals you know to refer back to it the next thing i'm going to go to is the great the great anatomy so there are two kinds of book you need for anatomy one you need your anatomy text two you need an atlas yes why do you need an atlas because you need an atlas you don't know anatomy Okay, you need to. This is your first encounter. Well, if you're not like a second degree student who did anatomy before, who did a course relating to anatomy, this is your first encounter with anatomy. So, need an atlas. I need a normal like textbook. This was the recommended text for my school. It was last. I feel like last is recommended text in every school in Nigeria. I don't know, but last was recommended in my school. Um, though I had, I had to use, yeah, I didn't read that in. Let me tell you the truth. And there's another one here, Get More. I didn't read that one, let me tell you the truth. Okay, I used to just, I, I looked at it, but it's not like I read it for my exam. But this book, oh Jesus Christ, I mean, I read I read this book. Like, I read this book. You guys, I read this book. I read this book. So, this was a recommended text. Like, this last anatomy is not going anywhere. It's going to follow me till many, 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 many years to come. I'm not giving this book to anybody. This book is amazing. Like I enjoyed anatomy because of this. At first, I hated it. Let me tell you the truth. Because I was just like, what's all this English? People are blowing. Can you just go straight to the point? I don't know anything about anatomy. You're telling me the this, the that, the that. But after a while, I said that off with Cherus, yeah, because that's what we're advised to do. That if you're not really understanding last, if you're not understanding to me, please call those books to me. If you're not understanding to me, go to um Cherusia, read Cherusia, get like the um background information, but still come back to last and read it. Because last is like in-depth and most lecturers use last. So this was one of the record this was the recommended book for my school and this book was amazing hey <laughs> jesus christ there's some days i'll just find myself reading really anatomy because i loved it like i read this book hey jehovah god is here oh my god when i was still a student <laughs> then the other one is I'm, I'm so ashamed to show you guys this book i'm so ashamed but let me just show you the size this is letters at last the front, the front is torn. I can't, I can't show you guys because I'm going to leave the picture up here. But this next aspect, let me show you how the inside looks. So, basically, it's like very colorful. Ooh, what's funny? Very colorful. Um, basically, yeah. And they are organized into um, sections. There are sections like the lower limb, the upper limb, the head and neck, the neuroanatomy, and this book. This book is amazing. Like this is one of the reasons. This book is one of the reasons why I love anatomy. This book can last because of these two books. I loved anatomy. So these are all the books I used for anatomy, for growth for histology and for embryology now moving forward to other courses there's physio and there's PIC now let me be honest to you first of all let me show you the book I bought I bought I say I bought I did not say I used bought <laughs> this was the book I bought like when I was just cross I bought actually buy on my textbook beforehand before I cross over like if I go to the next class, I try and buy my textbook um, at home usually, if I'm at home. So I bought this book in Lagos. <laughs> and um, I asked, I, I actually asked, and they told me, oh, buy Guyton and Hall, buy um, Essentials, or buy Ezilu Physiology. So on going to the store, I saw this book and I was like, hey, this is what medical students use. Then this book was like the heaviest book I own. Not now, where pediatrics is there and surgery is there, Billy and Law, that all those books are competing for who is heavier. But this was one of the heaviest books I owned. I was like, yes, I'm now a medical student. <laughs> now let me tell you guys the truth. This book, I read this book. 
because of excitement because of like saying oh my god i'm in second year i'm a medical student i'm not buying medical books because in first year you don't really buy medical books it's from second year you now buy medical books and you're not feeling like ah you're in medical school. and if you are a book lover like me you understand the really that i had when i was buying books so i read this book at home <laughs> Because of the ceremony and the excitement that was like, oh my god, I'm a medical student, oh my god, oh my god, medical book, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was reading this book judiciously. There's no science to teach us nothing in physiology. But I read this book, I read general physiology. There was a time I got tired. I said, what am I doing to myself? I need to close this book and sleep and enjoy my holiday. So, I read this book for ceremony. I never read this book in school. Okay, I'm not saying never. I consulted, I like this is my book for like consults because this was the only hard copy book I had. I had um, Essential Physiology by Sebeling Gan. I think that's his name. I'm gonna leave it somewhere in the screen. That book was amazing. I had the soft copy and I loved that book. But the honest truth is that in my school, in my own school where I attend for physiology, in my time, let me add in my time because I don't know what's going on now. In my time, you absolutely don't need a textbook. Your materials, your lecture notes, like the notes that you make in class, that means that you have to attend class, is enough for you to pass your second MB. I mean, if you don't want to get a distinction, then you know, go to books and get all that information. But your materials for physiology, for materials, if you just give them what they give you, like they don't have stress it seems like they do but they don't have stress so this book was it's not it wasn't useful but it is useful this book is gold like i can refer back to this book um sometimes when i have tutorials i look at this book and i'm like okay so is this what this means and the book is actually really interesting just that it's big the size can be discouraging so yeah this was the book i used for physiology then for biochemistry i bought Vasudeva and Biochemistry. I bought emphasis on I bought. <laughs> I bought Vasudeva and Biochemistry. I lent that to somebody again, same person for second ending. I'm yet to see my book, <laughs> but I bought that book and I read it a few times, a few times actually, but also just like physiology for biochemistry in my school. Emphasis in my school. Buying a textbook, buying that textbook in my biochemistry wasn't necessary. There was a book that they sell in my school, which is um, metabolism, something about meta basically in biochemistry. If you get that book and you read your lecture materials, I mean, for biochemistry, it's like a past, your past, your past. And if you now want to go in depth into the nitty gritty of biochemistry, then read textbooks. So I got Vasu Devan. I'm gonna leave the picture up here somewhere, but I didn't read it as much as I read last, and I read my embryo and I read my histology. Like anat I read anatomy textbooks really, really well more than I read any other textbook that I owned. So the moral lesson of this story is that before you start spending your money, find out what works for your school. I mean I mean find out, I mean don't just ask one person because if you ask me or if you come to my if you come here and you see my books you're like okay i think this is the book i should buy without asking so always make inquiries i did ask but ask more than one person <laughs> basically so you don't like waste your money but buying books i don't know for me buying books is an investment it's not a waste so if you like books and you want to invest in it why not go ahead knock yourself out so these are the books that I use during second MB and oh my god, especially for the anatomy. Yikes. Yikes. That, 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 that book helped me. Oh my god, these books helped me. Like they helped me so much. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. I hope this video is helpful to somebody and you, you don't make some of the mistakes that I made. Anyway, they're not mistakes because for me books are like an investment not really a waste you know so um but if you're not really a book person if you're not a textbook person and you know that your the textbook is not like an essential component of passing second MB, then i mean don't waste your money ask questions um know what each 
course requires before you start spending your money on books so yeah guys this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you guys in my next one don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed like this video if you have not liked this video and leave your comments below i'll see you guys in my next one bye